Hello, everyone. This is Susan Gerbig from Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia, speaking to you today from Manchester, England, England, <laughs> in uh, 2014. And I have here today with me uh, a few of my international editors who have all decided to descend on uh, QED. Um, I like to think that they're here because I'm here, but I don't think that's necessarily true. But one of the things I am very um, adamant about in the skeptical community is that we need to get our butts up and do something and sometimes for some people just coming to a conference is probably the first thing that they can do because it's nice to be at home and listen to podcasts and read the blogs and comments and things like that but if you can get to a conference go if you can't go to a conference go to your local meetups if you don't have a local meetup make one and skeptic camps are a wonderful avenue of getting people to go and um, um, start meeting people. Everybody's interesting. You just have to talk to them long enough or drink or something. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'll get them a drink. But um, so I think skeptic camps are wonderful. I think conferences are amazing. Um, and go and meet your local whomever. So everybody's going to give you a little discussion about uh, nagging you to get you to the next conference here. So here we go. Well, I'm here because Susan, Say your name. <laughs> Vera, this is Vera, and I'm actually at QED because Susan is here. I was already in Britain because I chose to go to the Edinburgh Science Festival up north, and that coincided with QED, QED coincidentally. Um, it's great to attend lectures in person because you get to ask questions to the, uh, to the one giving the talk and you get to meet other people in the audience and socialize with them and it is generally interesting. And drinking vampires as well. As well. <laughs> yeah, I got to, uh, there was a lecture this morning on vampire, vampire mythology and I volunteered to drink ashes, um, which actually turned about it turned out to be uh, coca powder. Scam. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, hi, uh, my name is Jelena. Um, even though I'm originally from Latvia, but I now live in UK, and I have never heard of any skeptic conference. I don't know where I was all this time, but until I met Susan, and Susan told me about QED, and I thought I have to be there because Susan it was going to be there. And um, I have uh, not regretted coming here at all. It's been the most fantastic experience. I have met amazing people. I mean, Nathan Phelps and Mark Edwards and Susan herself. And a lot of the people from GSO team that um, I saw on forum uh, various times, but uh, now I have a chance to meet them personally. So the great thing about being here in person is that these conferences and these gatherings are inspirational and they, they make you want to do stuff, they make you want to get out there and, and actually be proactive and, and you know recruit more people and just they give you like second you know, wings and just they're great. So everybody must attend and um, conferences like Susan said, if there's no uh, chance then groups or if there's no groups create one it's just great hi it's andras from uh, hungary from the hungarian skeptic society uh, i've been attending conferences for the for the last couple of years um, this is my second qed uh, i attended one tam london as well and uh, uh, all of these were great experience great experience to me uh, not only because of what the others said before me but um, also that um, it's it's uplifting to to be among people who are like-minded, uh, and um, um, yeah, this is this is why sometimes we are being uh, uh, looked at as as if we were um, um, a sect or something. But uh, of course it's not because what brings brings us together is critical thinking, uh, the the love for science and reason, and um, and this is really an uplifting experience, and. Uh, I totally agree with everything the others uh, told told before me, so I will pass it on to Leon. <laughs> I am uh, Leon, and from the Netherlands, and uh, this is really my first skeptic conference. I've been to a discussion uh, with uh, with Lawrence Krauss, Massimo Piccolucci, and 
uh, Daniel Dennett in Ghent, Belgium uh, last year with um, other people from my skeptical podcast Kritisch Denken. Uh, that was the first time I ever met them. And it was really cool, but it's not like a skeptic conference because that was just one evening and one discussion and it wasn't very interactive. And this is, you have lots of different talks, uh, different discussion panels and in between you can meet lots of awesome people, talk to them and uh, hang out. And, and it's also very cool to, to really meet people of the Skeptical Podcast that you've been listening to for quite some time. That's, that's just so cool. Um, if, uh, and, and, and you really should come to these kind of conferences. If you don't, can't make it to really international conferences, there are uh, many great conferences on uh, a local level. In the Netherlands we have uh, Stichting Skepsis, they're, they're very cool. In, uh, in Flanders we have uh, Skep. And uh, there are also uh, those who focus on quackery, the Vereniging tegen de Kwakzalverij. Those, are, those guys are also very awesome. You should check them out. And, uh, and just meet them and discuss uh, things in, in real life that is so much more uh, cool than, than just from uh, just on the internet. So I really enjoy the time uh, here with uh, all these friends uh, I've, I've made on the internet. It's, it's really uh, exciting to be uh, around each other in real life. So. That's what, that's what I Great to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pause. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, there's a Dalek rolling by. <laughs> hey, da da we can cut that part out of the video. Okay, who's next? Yep, okay. Um, so, Same what? Sorry? Oh. Peter, I'm Peter from Slovakia. So, um, the, the, the best thing actually I find out about um, QED was well, I was quite international before in a way that. I was born in Slovakia, uh, my mother tongue is Hungarian, I live in England and um, so and when I came here, I, I mean I expected many things but I didn't expect to meet so many other nationalities and languages and accents and, and all these people from around the world. Um, Susan had a great talk yesterday as well so it was, it was all very worth it. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Um, I'm Nick from the UK. Um, I really enjoy meeting all the people that uh, I've, I've interacted with online and uh, finding out all the things that they get up to back in their, their different uh, countries of origin, how the skeptic movement works in uh, different places, um, and getting ideas for working on things in the future, and sometimes learning about other conferences in other countries that it might be fun to go to in the future. And photograph out. And photograph out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, Brad. Hi, yes, I'm Rob McDermott from the UK. This is my fourth QED. I've been to them all and they have all been absolutely wonderful. I cannot recommend highly enough that you come to this conference in particular. Other skeptical conferences I assume are also awesome in other countries. I can't tell you from personal experience, but here meet people from all around the country and indeed Europe and the world who you've perhaps previously only seen online. I get to talk to them as they're real people. You can have slightly more nuanced conversation than it's possible to have on Twitter um, and just have a great time with people who at least mm -hmm. if they we all share the, the that love of critical thinking so you can say it's like-minded people but it's also you can have a good argument with people as well if that's your thing because you won't, you'll find that we don't all agree on anything we are definitely not a bunch of sheep um, and if you can't come to conferences like this as Susan was saying find a local skeptics in the pub it's like a conference but just maybe one evening uh, <laughs> a month um, you might find people who, are, who think similarly to you locally int interesting talks i were on the one in york in in north yorkshire in the uk um, there are all across the uk um, and all across the world there are there are skeptical groups find your local one or as susan was saying set one up if there isn't one because well that's what i did so yeah come along to Skeptical Meetups, they're awesome. So what I wanted to add actually from my part was that um, I, um, I was quite worried at first that I was coming here by myself. Um, my friends are not that much skeptical actually, most of them. But when I arrived I was surprised that it was completely unfounded. So many people were, were here alone and it, was, it just worked out great. So if you're alone, don't, don't worry, just come along. 